Hello, I am Anamoltos and welcome back once again for another Zero AD replay. Now let's see what we have today. Um, today we actually have a team-based match. Let me just pause the game real quick uh, now that it's started. And what do we have here? Um, we've got six players here ffm we're on two three eight cz we're king torix max decatrix nigel 87 and hannibal barca and the rules of a game is a conquest defeat all opponents to win locked teams allied victory that's right it's a 3v3 um and as always i have once again uh forgotten to keep track on uh, which one is on which team so we've got FFM here uh, well anyway <laughs> let's let's actually just look at the pool. okay FFM with Uran 238 CZ and working at Torix I'll just say Uran uh, against Max Decatrix Nigel 87 and Hannibal Barca so it'll be they're clustered together so that's good for them i suppose so that they don't have to end up worrying about uh getting i suppose uh attacked from all sides which uh, would be a concern had they started in a different position okay so we do see that uh, over here we've got none other than Uran 238CZ who is busy cutting down those baobabs trees very nice um, and gathering as uh, much as possible and we are only uh, 18 seconds in and the seconds are getting a bit long because I am lagging a bit, and hopefully my lagging will not go very low, otherwise I will have to uh, recapture a bit. So we've got Mexicatrix building a house already, as expected. Uh, it is always a solid strategy to build houses. Uh, Hannibal Barca following up with that as well. Um, and look at that FFM not wasting any time setting up a lot of houses to be built and uh, of course we will check in on uh, where can get who is also currently in the process of building a house so the question becomes who will be building uh, up faster but uh, it does seem like Uran over here is not building house at least not yet uh, is that a misplay? Um, all you experts out there, do tell me in the comments, is it a misplay not to build a house right away? Now, of course, that being said, um, it I don't really think it is too much uh, of a problem because uh, the population cap isn't too big a problem right now. However, it will become a problem eventually if Ron does not build a house anytime soon. So... Uh, we do see the players really getting getting moving. Look at that. Hannibal Barca building up a second house. And, and FFM already working. Look at that. Five houses in the process. And look let's let's take a moment to admire the, the stunning artwork. Uh, put in by the game designers. Look at that. That is beautiful, if I do say so myself. Wow! Wow, that's a lot of houses, to be honest. That is a lot of houses. And uh, working Gatorix at one house. But uh, working Gatorix is getting some cavalry built up. And it looks like FFM may already be raiding against uh, uh, 
against um, lag over here. Uh, Max the Catrix. Uh, Max the Catrix, Max the Catrix. Still not sure if a jury is still out on that one. And by the jury, I obviously mean people that actually know uh, the contextually correct pronunciation. And uh, I am running at one frame per second. Does it get annoying me talking about frame rates all the time? Is is that annoying? I hope it isn't. But you know what? Maybe it becomes annoying once you mention it. Maybe that's the issue here. Uh, maybe the issue isn't it being... Oh, suddenly it jumped right back up. Um, maybe the issue isn't uh, isn't having a low frame rate but talking about it maybe calling attention to it is making it more annoying maybe 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 that's maybe I've I've come on to something perhaps perhaps that is that is something to think about Ooh, look at that you're having a giraffe eh FFM, with those early camels. Killing a giraffe. I don't know what giraffes taste like. Um, they are herbivores, so I don't think they'd be too bad. It's just, of course, hunting a giraffe is not the easiest thing, because they're pretty large, and uh, if you get close, they can kick you really hard. Um, so that's something to worry about. But of course, if you've got a gun, that really changes things. But uh, you'd have to have the right kind of gun so that you can take aim well and uh, ensure that you hit. Oh, wow. These lads are lagging for me. But what is being built here? A farmstead being built out on the edge probably to allow for the collection of fine meats in this region. Look at that. That's a lot of giraffes. This jungle is absolutely filled with it. Well, it's not a jungle. It's more of a savanna? Mm, no. It's not. Well, I guess. I don't know. I do not know what uh, this sort of biome would be called. It does have a lot of baobabs. Holy cannoli, that's 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 a lot of those. And look at that. Yes, the these uh hippocontistes polites. Polites. Polites? I don't know. I don't know. But what I do know is that this giraffe is going to die. Yeah. So it looks like there are no major engagements happening right now. All the players, the, the two teams are keeping to themselves. Working hard to build up. Let's actually take a look at resources real quick. Um, there you are. If you like to look at the stats, oh look at that, we're on no stone. And population. Wow, that's uh, 40, uh, 59 by Nigel87. That's interesting. Nigel87's been busy, eh? Uh, but no one is yet at the town phase. But it looks like uh, FFM is indeed attacking. ESD. Some damage was done, but none too severe. However, this could force uh, FFM to uh, face a much larger force early on. And here we see 
we see a counter attack. Yes, yeah, with uh, Mexicatrix, of course, pushing, pushing through, attacking, um, and building a sentry tower. Another sentry tower has already been built, uh, so Mexicatrix is definitely trying to fortify, possibly in preparation for continued attacks as the game goes on. Nigel87 is sending yes. in some uh, some Roman cavalry. Uh, however, not to offer a counterattack. And FFM continues to take down Max Decatrix's buildings. Hannibal Barca is sending support to Max Decatrix. EST? And EST? We see Hannibal Barca is working in the woodlands, attacking EST? some giraffes, just like everyone else at this point in the game. Well, I say just like everyone else, but uh, here we could see Uran 283CZ not engaging in that sort of activity. But we do see a potential raid coming in from Nigel87. Look at that, here he comes. That Roman cavalry killing the women. Uh, hopefully not the children as well. <laughs> but uh, definitely doing the damage. And, and we don't see too much response from uh, Uran over here. Nigel87 is retreating back to friendly territory and potentially regrouping for another attack. And here it comes. He is... Nigel87 Nigel seems to be trying to attack uh, Uran's economy. That seems to be the plan here, to attack, kill some women whenever possible, and once everyone has gone to safety to retreat, and then wait again for the women to be sent out so that Nigel87 can attack once more. What is FFM up to? Uh, killing more giraffes, as usual. Nigel 87, of course, attacking once more. And here he goes. Look at that. Just brutal, it just keeps happening over and over again. And there's not much that can be done about it until Uran gets some defense up, whether uh, of Uran's own fortifications and uh, and units for a counterattack or that or the units of an ally. It does look like Uran is becoming the weak link in the team. We can actually confirm that um, if we look here. Yes, Uran definitely has less resources food-wise. However, does have a lot more wood. Um, stone isn't too relevant yet in the game. Neither is metal. But population-wise, uh, Uran is at 59 against 53 by FFM. 47 by Max the Catrix. Uh, but Nigel87 is over 100. Hannibal Barca is over 100. Working Gatorix is almost at 90. And it does look like FFM is on the move. Launching an attack once more. 
trying to apparently do some damage against Max Decay Tricks over here. And where can get works is bartering those resources. Nigel87 still busy attacking. Meanwhile, Nigel87 also has a significantly strong economy here. Uh, Nigel87 has advanced into the town phase along with Hannibal Barca, Max Decatrix, um, FFM is definitely in the town phase, and of course where can Torx, but still uh, not Uran, but Uran is on the way. And what is this? Uran is sending slingers? Yes, yeah, they are taking heavy damage. Perhaps this is a scouting party. Oh, no, no, that's not what hap what's happening. Uh, these guys were just left here unattended and then were proactive. Were acting aggressively. Yes, Steve? Does look, it does look like FFM is putting some pressure on Max Decatrix. And Wrecking Gatorix is sending in some cavalry. Uh, that's a lot of cavalry. It might be a bit more of an raid. Could be a full scale attack. Let's find out. FFM is pushing in in the north against Nigel87. Looks like FFM is trying to do this stealthily, but now FFM is attacking. This is a raid. Nigel87, of course, is defending. And down here, where King Victorix is attacking, Hannibal Barca has some defense towers up in preparation for potential attacks. So the attack is not fully successful. And here we see two different uh, doctrines in how to establish defenses. You can see Hannibal Barca's uh, line along the border defense here, uh, as opposed to uh, Max Decatrix's uh, cluster around the center type of defense here. The, the clustered defense against the linear defense, contrasted. And uh, where Kingatorix is attacking in, and a battle is unfolding in the north. FFM is having to uh, move strategically here oh. against Nigel 87. But it looks like where Kingatorix has taken the upper hand in the fight and is now pushing in, but this will probably not last too long. Because I don't believe that this yes. size of a force is enough to take care of Hannibal Barca for good. So of course, using this size of force is very... Using this type of defense, I mean, is very good for uh, blocking potential raids and really messing with raiders. But once a full-scale attack comes in... Uh, it really the weakness of this defense is really exposed in that once you go past it there's not much left to defend the center and also you can just circumvent it by attacking near a, another border But it doesn't look like working the Torx is going to be successful in this pursuit, as Nigel87 is helping out Hannibal Barca in driving away the attackers. It looks like uh, FFM is still busy hunting in the wilderness, perhaps driving the giraffes toward the settlement. That looks like what's happening here. 
to allow for easy harvest of resources, herding the giraffe. Okay. And where can Gatorix is in full retreat. And what's this? A black map. Okay. Nothing to call home over. And he received a cluster defense once again. And this could be early signs of a linear defense. And a cluster defense here. And this could be early signs of a cluster defense. Now, now that I've established the doctrines, I just like to point out what uh, we're seeing. And I think another advantage of the cluster defense is that uh, if you also cluster all your buildings together, it means that whenever someone's attacking, you can have overlapping arcs of, of fire, which can do more damage. And to be honest, having a ring of defenses like this what it really does is it, it discourages small raids, but uh, a big force can just push past that and attack, as we saw earlier. And it does look like the city phase has been achieved by Hannibal Barca as well as by Eric Torix, but none of the other players yet. Uh, but we can check to see if anyone is on the way. Uh, it doesn't look like it. But now that some of the players have achieved it, I'm pretty sure that some of the others do feel encouraged to do the same. And we see Nigel87 attacking once again against a clustered defense that we see here. Um, and we also see the wall of houses, a, a common defensive strategy. But also the capture and tear down. Classic zero AD textbook maneuver. Um, question is, who wrote the textbook? That is the question that I'm sure is in all of our minds right now. But Nigel87 has expanded to the north, building a civic center. I was wondering uh, who would take the initiative first, and it was Nigel87. Probably choosing to do that instead. Oh, wait, no. In addition to getting the city phase. Wow. Nigel 87 is really bold. Act acting quite boldly. And it doesn't seem like any of the other players are going for the city phase quite yet. But with Nigel 87, Nigel 87 achieving the city phase, that will really expand uh, the eastern team's control of the map. Uh, and Nigel 87 continues to be a thorn in Urim's side. Yeah. But I do believe that this defense is paying off, as it does allow the fields to be a bit more protected, allowing the women to retreat more easily uh, instead of having to worry about the cavalry just jumping in and killing everyone. And it does look like working at Torx is counterattack. Oh no! FFM! This could be a white for the raiding force. And it does look like they are taking heavy damage, but it also looks like they will be able to uh, make it home safely. And here we see Nigel87 hard at work building up the second civic center and Max the Catrix is still sitting strong with his cluster defense here and now we see where King Gatorix is indeed building a fort and we'll see how that turns out now of course this fort is close to the civic center, along for overlapping, uh, overlapping firing ranges, which uh, of course lends itself to the cluster defense doctrine. 
and we are seeing a fight unfold down here in the south with uh, yes, Hannibal Barca attempting to build a fortress here, but these attempts are hampered by FFM's strong presence here, killing a significant number of Hannibal Barca's troops. And it looks like Hannibal Barca has indeed abandoned the prospect of building the fortress. And that is another advantage of having the uh, border defense, the um, outer defense instead of an inner defense, is that you can you, you can go and uh, and build fortresses to take people's territory, and that goes very well. It's a very offensive type of uh, de defensive fortification while the clustered one is a much more defensive type. And FFM is pushing through with large numbers, where Kingatorix also turning north. And it looks like Uran is trying to finish the job in taking down the fortress, the half-built fortress. Hurricane Gatorix is engaging, engaging Nigel 87, as well as some of Hannibal Barca's troops. And here we see Nigel 87 passing through Hannibal Barca's territory, perhaps to attack Uran. But FFM is busy in the south. And here we see, here comes Nigel 87. Uh oh, Nigel 87 is going to finish building the fortress. Wait, never mind. Yes. It does look like that is what's happening here. Nigel 87 is going to distract the opponent and finish building the fortress uh, while FFM does do some damage. On, uh, behind the lines here. Uh, this guy is dead. And the fortress is indeed complete. And it is followed up by a siege workshop by Hannibal Barca. We'll see how that turns out. But working Gatorix is already on the case, sending in. Some troops. Rickon Gatorix is also moving behind the lines yeah, again, perhaps trying to do some more damage uh, to uh, Nigel 87's rear. Nigel 87 is losing strength and is pulling back, it seems. Nigel 87 has garrisoned the force inside the fortress. Yes, yeah, And uh, Hannibal Barca is pulling out the foot companions. Here they come. Meanwhile, FFM continues to attack uh, behind the lines. Where can Gatorix also remaining active behind the lines? Yeah, see? These foot companions are taking a bit of a beating. And here we see that Uran is indeed expanding the defenses to uh, better fortify the border. Um, and it yes, see? looks like Hannibal Barca is pushing forward. And Hannibal Barca has a battering ram. Okay, we're going to see a lot of fun come out of this one. Uh, it doesn't seem like another one is on the way yet. But 
here it comes. Attacking right at the blacksmith. FFM attacking Nigel 87 behind the lines. Old capture and uh, tear down. The battering ram is retreating and is being pursued. And here it comes again. Will we see a continued attack? It might actually tear down the blacksmith. That would be a problem for uh, run 238CZ. Meanwhile, <laughs> the Weir King Torix is capturing Hannibal Barca's market which is going to be economically annoying. It's not being... Oh, there it goes. It's being torn down. FFM is continuing to take action in, in the south against Nigel87. Nigel87, of course, having to uh, divert attention to deal with FFM. FFM's uh, lands are very distributed. This, that's a very distributed uh, build-up with all these houses being placed essentially all over the place. And very few defenses. But FFM is indeed pushing in once more with another group of camels. Where can Gatorix also attacking behind the lines again? And it does look like FFM is having a little bit trouble, a little bit of trouble with Nigel 87 here. Um, these troops might very well get cornered. That seems to be what's happening here. And look who just made it to the city phase. It's Uron and uh, Max de have all, has, has also made it. FFM is on the way. Working the Turks is retreating. FFM is harassing Nigel87 even more. I think uh, it seems to be the primary target for FFM right now to really harass Nigel87 behind the line since Nigel87 does seem to be the more powerful one in the group. Now let's take a look at, uh, at some of the resources here. He receives it. He received FFM's vision. That's actually quite a lot of active vision uh, on the map right now. But uh, that's the resources for the time being. 143 population for FFM, uh, but it's dropping due to losses in combat. Where King Gatorix is very high, Max Tetrix over 100, uh, Nigel 87 over 150, but dropping due to combat. Um, Uran and Hannibal Barca are below 100. And here they come. The big war elephants. Perhaps not coming into battle right now. But uh, that was definitely a consideration. And a, a gymnasium is being built. Rick and Gatorix is sending in the infantry. Followed by uh, a, a camel. No, what am I even saying? It's an elephant. What am I talking about? A camel. Man, that's that's not the word I wanted to come out of my mouth. Not at all. Uh, it does look like FFM has been beaten back. 
question is, what is working with Torix's target here? Look at that, the damage is flying fast. And the defense is crumbling. You see a wide circle of defenses, but a hole has already been poked. This one seems to be next. That's a lot of damage. And this is one of the weaknesses of having this distributed defense system rather than a cluster defense system is and, and the weakness of course is that once you poke the hole into it, it actually has a, a gaping hole. And it looks like this elephant was meant to be sent here but it doesn't look like it's making the trip. So it is instead, oh, oh, is, is this a, a straight target? Maxicatrix building a fortress on uh, this um, three point border and sending troops to reinforce Both elephants are still alive. One of them is heavily wounded. Nigel 87 coming into the rescue. And here we see Nigel 87 is, uh, of course, supported by this very well fortified Max Decatrix here, offering a shield again to uh, Nigel 87's territory in the back. Look at that, there's a fortress, there's a fortress, there's a fortress, and here we have a military colony. And of course, several defense towers all over the place. That is pretty tough. It's gotta be said, it is pretty tough. But working in Turex is pulling through, doing the damage against uh, Marcus Claudius Marcellus, um, who is engaging in battle right now on the behalf of Nigel 87. Where King Torix has already started up a large amount of trade along with uh, FFM. Look at that, that's, that's what I call a flourishing trade route. Going all the way up north and all the way down south. Working the Torix is still in Hannibal Barca's territory, and it looks like Nigel. 87. I gotta stop. I gotta stop uh, saying Nigel 87 at every chance I get. No. Uh, it's Max Decatrix retreating from uh, what seems to have been a raid. And a blacksmith is being built once again. But we see one fortress here, and another one here, and another one here. It's a line of fortresses. And there's another one up in the north as well. Looks like the the eastern team has established some strong defenses, but that is of course not to lose to the western team, which has a fortress up here and a fortress down here as well. As well as this fortress over there. But the question is, who will be able to launch a united front here and I think I think it's time for me to stop uh, I've gone long enough and we will leave we will leave a rest for next time so anyway thank you all for watching please do tell me what you think in the comments below 
and I will be seeing you all next time on a Wiltos over and out.